गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अवर लेक्चर गिव मी द एंसर वाई वी आर डूइंग द डिप्लोमा इन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस प्रोग्राम वॉट वी हैव यू नो द एंसर The answer is our mission. The answer is our vision. Our departmental vision is to excel in information technology engineering education to produce professionally competent engineers with lifelong learning attitude for the accomplishment of ever growing needs of society and industry. then how to achieve this vision or goal for that we state some mission statement the departmental mission statements are first to provide quality education through effective teaching learning methodologies with simulating environment for preparing technical and professional competent engineering second mission is to build up professional skills in students that will help them to succeed and progress in their personal and professional career third mission statement is to imbib professional ethics and social responsibilities in students for society and environment these are departmental vision and departmental mission next in previous lecture we have learned about our first unit that is overview of operating system in that we studied what is the operating system their components and architecture of operating system their different components as well as various operations after that we studied different types of operating system and their architecture now today onward we are going to start our second unit that is services and components of operating system which having 10 marks for the exam the concept of this units are operating system services system calls system components and use of operating system tools an operating system provides the environment within which programs are executed as only the operating system can actually perform the op input output operations user programs have to request for all such operations from the operating system in this unit we are going to discuss about what services and operating system provided what are the use of views of system calls what are different system components which is provided by operating system and what is the use of operating system tools before starting the actual concept of operating system services and components of operating system this chapter deals with how operating systems are structured and organized different design issues and choices are examined compared and the basic structure of several popular operating systems are 
presented that means the structure of operating system an operating system is construct that allow the user application program to interact with the system hardware basically the operating system is a complex structure it should be created as user point of view that means it can be used and modified easily for efficient performance and implementation of operating system it should be divided into separate parts each of these parts should be well defined with clear inputs outputs functions tasks as well as performance these sub system can organized in various architecture configuration different operating system provides different architecture as well as their structures also different now we will see the concept of operating system services an operating system provide an environment for the execution of program it provides certain services to program and to the user of those programs means an operating system provides different kinds of services to both the user and to the programs as well it also provides application programs that means that run within operating system an environment to execute it freely it provides user the services can various programs in a conventional manner operating system sets an environment which is suitable to execute the programs operating system provides many services for smooth functioning of overall system the specific services provided differ from one operating system to another but we can identify common classes as earlier we know there are different operating systems having different structure likewise there are different operating systems are available in market each operating system have specific services rather operating system change their services also changed so we have identify some common features of services which is provided by operating system these operating system services are provided for the convenience of the programmer to make the programming task easier this diagram shows the overview of operating system services the definition of operating system is that the operating system is interface between user program of computer and computer hardware the operating system provide these services like user interfaces program execution input output operations file system communication resource allocation accounting protection and security and error detection by using these services user can access the system very smoothly now we will see the services in detail the operating system has major services 
provided by to the operating system for convenience of users in that user interface user interface means by which user can issue commands to the system depending on the system these may be command line interface a gui interface or a batch command system means user interface is a medium through which user actually interact with the computer system via operating system almost all operating system have a user interface the latter are generally older system using punch cards of job control language we will see this concept in previous unit in the batch operating system batch operating system is use the punch card to execute the programs now our day it is very old but may still be used today for specialty system designed for a single purpose user interface having command interface get and process the next user request and launches the requested program in some system the command interface may be incorporated into the kernel more commonly command interface is a separate program that launches once the user log in or otherwise access the system for example unix operating system provide the user with a choice of different shells different shells provide different functionalities in terms of certain commands that are implemented directly by the shell without launching any external program here shell it is a user interface where user can execute their commands it is a sample of shell it is a terminal where user can execute the command in the text format the user interface are categorized into three types of interfaces that is command line interface batch interface and graphical user interface in that first we will see the command line interface command line interface provide an environment where user can write their commands in the text format on command prompt it is an example of command line interface in the solaris 10 operating system where it is the terminal one kind of user interface where user can write the commands in the text format and execute next batch interfaces batch interfaces allows a command environment which gets execute one by one sequentially user creates a batch file which contains multiple executable commands in a sequence this batch file is executable to execute the set of commands included in it means batch interface allows a command in environment which get executed in serial sequence means one by one user create a batch file which contain multiple executable commands in a sequence after that this batch file is executed to execute the set of commands included in it next that is the graphical user interface 
it is one of the sample we show the graphical user interface in mobile operating system there are some tiles or items which is displayed on screen that is the multiple applications it is provide the graphical user interface generally gui implemented as a desktop metaphor with files folders trash cans and resource icons icons represent some item on the system and respond accordingly when the icon is activated that means when we click any app that icon should be activated first developed in the early 1970s at xerox park research facility in some system the gui is just a front end for activating a traditional command line interface running in the background in other the gui is a true graphical shell in its own right that means graphical user interface most of the operating system provides graphical interface which have tools like pointing device which direct the input and output operations which the help of graphical control like menu for example mouse manipulating by different menus and icons now we will see the actual services which is provided by operating system the operating system provides environments in which programs run and services for the user of the system including the program execution input output management file system manipulation communication error detection accounting protection and resource allocation these are common services of operating system now services are further divided into two category that is one for the user and other for the operating system itself means some services which is used for the user those services are program execution input output management file system manipulation communication and error detection now we will see these user services one by one in detail first the program execution in program execution service the operating system must be able to load a program into ram it's a random access memory that is main memory run the program and terminate the program either normally or abnormally the system must be able to load a program into memory and to run that program means program execution allow user return programs to get execute or run program execution is the most important aspect of the operating system one of the core function of operating system is to support program execution operating system take care of assigning work to the cpu for the purpose of program execution every program that run on computer system needs some memory this memory allocation is done by operating system 
एग्जाम्पल मल्टीटास्किंग मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग फीचर्स आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम आफ्टर एक्जिक्यूटिंग द प्रोग्राम मेमरी डी अलोकेट ऑफ मेमरी इज डन बाय ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टीम means in this type of services the operating system should provide the facility to enter the user program that is program creation facility to load the program in memory and facility to execute the program after execution the program should terminate either normally or abnormally by indicating errors if the program executes successfully then it is terminated normally and if the program has errors then it is terminated abnormally the program must be able to end its execution either normally or abnormally once a program get executed then deallocate the memory for the next use or further use it is the program execution in short the program execution users program cannot run independently they need a platform of platform of operating system to execute the programs next the devices that is input output operations the operating system is responsible for transferring data to and from the input output devices including keyboards terminals printers and storage devices a running program may require input output which may involve a file or any io device for specific devices special functions may be desired such as recording to a cd or dvd for efficiency and protection users usually cannot control io devices directly the operating system must provide a means to do io operations that means each program require an input and produce output this involves the use of io devices or files the operating system hides the detail of underlying hardware of io from the user user can run their program conveniently because they are not aware about io systems of operating system for better efficiency and protection the user are not allowed to directly interact with io devices so operating system here become the bridge between io devices and user operating system makes io devices available to user in a user friendly manner whenever required by user a running program may require input and output operation to be performed this input and output may involve a read or write from a file or an io devices the user program cannot perform io operation directly the operating system should provide some operation on behalf of user this is the io operations services next file system manipulation in addition to raw data storage the operating system is also responsible for maintaining directory and subdirectory structure mapping file names to specific blocks of data storage and providing tools for navigating and utilizing the file system the file system is of particular interest programs needs to read and write files and directories 
they also need to create and delete them by name search for a given file and list file information that means the output of a program may need need to be written into new file or it can be given as input to other file the operating system provide this service the user does not have to worry about secondary storage management user gives command for reading and writing to a file and can see this task accomplished thus operating system make it easier for user programs to accomplish their task operating system even handle the issue related to the different permissions like read write execute and even access deny depending on the ownership of the file it also involve creating deleting or even searching of the file by its name it is done by operating system the operations like creating a file deleting a file open a file close a file read file write file these are some operations for the file system manipulation provided by operating system these services are available in the form of system call or high level function for example in file menu we just click the new button and new file is created we click open button a file gets open we click click close button the file get closed we click delete the file get deleted all these operations are performed by the operating system with the help of system call or high level functions which are invisible to the user next communication interprocess communication that is ipc either between processes running on the same processor or between processes running on separate processor or separate machine may be implemented as either shared memory or message passing in that the communication refer to the communication that takes place among the different processes it might happen that processes need to communicate with each other for some purpose also processes can be present on the same machine or another machine operating system supports message passing facility to the process to ensure that processes communicate with each other and process execution get done without any error when processes are present on different computers communication can be done through the network user write their program with the help in transporting message among the different processes for example if there are multiple processes which are running on the system they want to communicate with each other then the operating system should provide the communication between processes process of one system can communicate with other process running simultaneously on the same system if processes are available on different system then processes of one system can communicate with the processes of other system through a network such services are provided by operating system through the technique like mail electronic messaging which can be done by the user program the user program may be customized to the specific of the hardware through which the message transmit and provide the services interface to the operating system
makes that is the error detection. Both hardware and software error must be detected and handled appropriately with a minimum of harmful. Some system may include complex error avoidance or recovery system including backup, red drives and other redundant system. An error is one part of system that may cause malfunctioning of the complete system. To avoid such situation, the operating system constantly monitors the system for the detecting errors. Operating system ensure that the user should not be worried for error propagating to various parts of the system and causing errors. This service cannot be controlled by user program because it involves monitoring and in cases alerting area of memory or the allocation of memory for a faulty processes. It can be even requisition the CPU of a processes that goes into infinite loop. In this service, the operating system continuously check for the error in any part of the system. Error may occur in different operations or devices like CPU and memory, I.O. devices, user programs. In CPU and memory, error may occur due to device failure or memory error. In CPU devices, error may occur due to priority error, card jump in card reader or printer out of paper. In user program, error may occur due to arithmetic overflow, attempt to access legal memory location or too much use of CPU time. For such type of error, the operating system should take appropriate action to ensure correct and consistent computing. These are the services which is used at the user level. Thank you.